How's it going guys, Lucas El Coolio here, and today I'm bringing you some demo gameplay from Mars War Logs. Now, um, this is the new like RPG uh, third person arcade game that came out for the Xbox Live Arcade. And I'm, I'm actually not sure if it's out, it probably is out on Steam and PSN as well, I'll have to, I'll look it up, I'll put it in the description, but um, um so this is just the demo, but the demo is actually huge, so I, this is, I'm only going to put the first part of it, because um, there's like, I played the whole demo, and it literally took me like, mm, it was like 45 minutes to play the whole demo, and so I don't really want to give you guys like, three or two or three episodes of demo gameplay so i'm just gonna give you one this is gonna be the first part um but I'll, i'm gonna let you watch the intro here as soon as the intro video starts it's like eight minutes long and so i'm gonna let you watch that and then i'll be back with you guys I so um here it goes and i'll see you guys in a bit before i saw it coming I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the ward guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade, and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. Keep moving. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. 
All right, guys, I'm back, and right now we're loading into the POW camp. Um, so yeah, this is Mars War Logs. I didn't really get to talk much because uh, I just wanted you guys to watch the intro videos and stuff. And I didn't really want to be talking over the videos. Um, so this game, it's it's kind of like um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's a uh, it's got kind of elements that remind me of Fallout uh, with things like uh, there's like there's like you have a skill tree of just like random you know just skills and then there's like another set of skills I don't even know what it, I don't even remember what it's called but there's like two sets of skill trees and the second one kind of reminds me of like the random perks that you could get in Fallout um, yeah and right here is this is the nice little uh, prison jail rape scene but um, I like how this guy's name's Fatso he doesn't even have a real name just Fatso but um as you guys saw in like the intro video, um, look at look at me lurking in the back over there. Um, you guys saw in the intro video, it's like you're on Mars and you got captured, um, or that guy got captured. What, what I, you figure out is that you're this guy who's standing here, kind of lurking behind these guys, like trying to pick a fight. That's the actual. Um, that's the actual main character like that's who you play as I thought you were playing as that kid you just kind of like start off I think that's just how they set up the story is starting off with that kid he's obviously gonna be a big part because he's like kinda your partner in here as you plan your jailbreak you know but um I, I so far I mean it looked pretty good when I was watching the game um when I was playing through one there there's a couple things that uh, disappointed me um, I'll just bring him up now. There's really, you're really not missing anything in the scene. The voice acting's pretty good, but it's basically, you know, um, little boy in jail and all the big nasty guys trying to get him. So this is, uh, you know, whatever. These are these scenes are a dime a dozen. But um, so as far as the game goes, well, the only things, a couple things disappointed me. I first of all, I want to say it's. The game was pretty cool, actually. I wasn't. I'm not gonna start ragging on it because as I played through, um, I I played the whole demo. Like I said, it took me 45 minutes, and um, when I played it through, it was actually there was a lot of cool things in there. Um, it seemed like pretty in depth. There was a lot to do. Um, it reminded me, it, you know, it reminded me of most of the the AAA RPGs where you're, you know you're looting corpses and you're doing quests and things like that. Um, it'll be interesting to see, you know, if you actually bought the game, how long it would be, because I'm not sure about that. But being that the demo was so long, you know, I would assume this game's pretty long. Um, it's $15 on on the marketplace. It's an arcade game, so uh, yeah. But um, so yeah, like I said, it, you know, it had some cool hey. things to it. Uh, it felt like a like so, like a triple A kind of. It had some triple A element games in it. But um, the things that disappointed me were one um the combat the combat was kind of weird um i'm not gonna say it was shitty you know because i i really haven't been playing it i really didn't play it too long but it was hard uh, it was definitely hard when i had like more than i had to fight like more than one guy and i kind of figured it out more towards the end which you won't even see in this gameplay because i just i just wanted to put the first half of the demo so i didn't make a million episodes but um it was kind of like strange the like the the way the the combat works like you can lock on to people or you can just fight like freely but it was like you had to like be like exactly facing the person if you wanted to block like i had one i had like a part where like there was like three i was fighting like three guys at the same time and i just got my ass kicked like the first time and i barely survived the second time and it was just because like i couldn't i i it was hard for me to switch between targets and block like you know how Assassin's Creed, so Assassin's Creed you get surrounded by dudes, and um, of course they attack one at a time. But you you have to at least like flip to them. If you block facing the wrong way, you're obviously not gonna you're not gonna block them. But it was pretty easy to do that to flip back and forth. This game I I had a quite a bit of trouble uh, actually flipping back and forth between the guys. So that wasn't um, I wasn't too too much of a fan of that. Um, that you know that was that was okay 
It wasn't, it wasn't the greatest. Like I said on the other half of the demo where you're fighting these moles in this tunnel, um, I, I got used to it. I rolled around a little more and whatnot, but it, it was hard. You couldn't like, I couldn't stand my ground and just block between like three guys. I don't know if that's by design or if the combat is just kind of funky. But um, another thing I was kind of disappointed on and, you know, this is the demo. And so I assume that this is exactly how the game starts, you know. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of background story about Mars, which was kind of disappointing to me. It was just like a uh, bunch of humans living on Mars, and it still looked red and everything. It wasn't like they uh, it was a like, green and they terraformed it or anything. Just a bunch of people just like you know having a big old war on Mars, and um, that was kind of that was kind of strange that they didn't give me any really background about about Mars, like how they got i just want to i just want to know a little bit you know they could have done like a 30 second video like we left earth for blah 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 and it took many years to make mars livable blah 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 like there's nothing like that it just starts with there's a war on mars so i that's kind of um you know i was a little disappointing i was i, was, I thought that was kind of strange that they didn't they didn't say anything about it they didn't mention it at all which i was like hmm, you know okay but um uh, another thing another thing that was weird is like so you get captured you you turn out to be this guy Roy who's like the older guy you're not like the teenager and um, he's been they're both been captured they're in a prison camp right now but like they're really not treated like they're prisoners I don't know if that's part of the story or or what again you know this demo based off the demo maybe we learn something later but Roy seems to really want to escape badly, but it's not like I don't see anybody being treated badly. Like it does, this doesn't even seem like a prison at all. Everyone's walking around doing their own thing. Like they get, they get food, they get training, and like I, I thought that was kind of strange. It just doesn't really seem like you're in prison. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's some kind of point behind that or not. But um, right here, you're watching the combat. This is just. Uh, it is basically teaching you teaching you the basics on like how to do stuff like kicking people and blocking and things like that um, So you fight these guys kind of like one-on-one, -on -one. but um As I destroy that guy Oh, oh he's I killed him with a block. That was impressive you fight these two guys finally your homie helps you got it wasn't helping forever um Another thing that was kind of weird was like, uh, the, again, you won't see this because this was in a, a separate half of the gameplay, but like, I, I, at another point, I'm fighting with two other guys, and um, we're fighting a bunch of like moles, and they both got killed by the moles. Like, we were fighting so many of them, they got swarmed and killed by the moles pretty quick. And then I killed the rest of the moles, and then I went over to check because I thought, you know, maybe they'd be knocked down or knocked out, kind of like Mass Effect like they were they were dead i was kicking their bodies around they were they were straight up dead but then and then i moved a little further down the tunnel and it went to a cutscene and they were alive so that was kind of that was kind of whack i don't i you know they probably should have done something about that i mean at least have them get up after they after they get knocked down if that's what they're supposed to be they're supposed to be knocked out and not killed because literally they got killed and they were dead i was kicking their bodies around so um you know that was that was definitely definitely something i think that they should fix or change um but as far as everything else goes you know it's it seems pretty good like these are these are pretty good graphics for an arcade game uh, the cutscenes are pretty well done. The voice acting's really good. Okay. You know, right these on. games usually, if they're not like AAA games, the voice voices don't like match the lips like correctly because they're not using like motion capture. They don't have these huge budgets for these things. But um, the it was it was pretty well like the voices. All the people sound unique. You know, that's one thing. Like a, uh, sometimes, like you feel games like Skyrim. Skyrim was a great game. I love Skyrim, but I think they had so many people in that game that they use like the same voice actors for like a lot of different people and you can kind of tell that it's the same people and I mean so far in this game of course this is just the beginning but uh, from what I heard uh, these people sounded you know pretty distinct and pretty different it was pretty good voice acting so I like that that was nice um I always like the RPG element I think I think that's cool the the skill trees and I like how there's multiple skill trees like not 
there's not just the three that I just showed right there, but there's also a secondary one that kind of gives you random things like chance to hit a critical with all attacks, like increased by like 2% or something like that. Like there's trees like that too, more random skills. Um, so the cutscenes are pretty well done. The atmosphere is pretty good. I mean, you look, you feel like you're on Mars, you know, but again, you know, I still think it's kind of strange that, you know, Mars has no atmosphere. I don't know how these people are just chilling out here. Something, something happened that um, they didn't tell me about, I guess, because all these people are hanging out up here and it's fine. But, um, I mean, there's definitely backstory that I didn't see because, um, you know, maybe, maybe that's part of, maybe they'll be explaining that later because when you're in the tunnels doing the mole thing later, you're helping clear out the moles for the soldiers. Um, they, uh, basically you find some old ruins of people who were here before the war. So they, they, they were calling them like, like some kind of colonists. They're like pre something colonists. So maybe that has to do like colonists were here before and they set up this place to where it is today and you just don't learn about it till later. I just thought it was kind of strange they didn't say anything about it. You're just kind of dropped in. Um, that was kind of weird. But um, I mean as far as the and the like the it's kind of weird as far as like the shooting goes like you get a gun in the second half. It's like a nail gun. But it's still a gun technically. And like the way it goes is you just map it to a hotkey and then when you're locked onto someone you just press the shoot button action. press whatever hot key is your gun which i thought that was kind of strange i was surprised they didn't do any kind of aiming or anything like that you know i don't know why they wouldn't just do like a left trigger right trigger kind of deal left trigger aim right trigger shoot and then you can hit because you can still swing all the melee buttons are on the their uh, xyb so i i thought that was kind of strange but um you know maybe it has something to do with powers later but i think i think that's how everything's gonna work like items all items like guns and things like that and all powers are just going to be mapped to hotkeys. I mean, that seems like that's how they're doing it. So, um, kind of strange. Not exactly the way, you know, I don't know if that's the best way to do it. But, uh, you know, it wasn't bad. Overall, you know, I had a positive experience with this game. It was pretty cool. Um, you know, I was interested to see what happened. I was kind of sad when the demo ends because it ends with a... Uh, you come into this room you're like there's i you meet some weird guy who i'm sure you'll uh you'll find out more about later but you see him and like um he's a um, he's talking to some girl it's like i don't know she's like indoctrinated him by him or something and he basically sends her down with you to uh to go investigate those like ruins you found and you go down there and there's a giant fucking mole and um that girl starts like to attack it and she gets knocked out and then it's just you fighting it and that's where the demo ends so that was kind of a cool ending um i like those cliffhanger endings they definitely make you want to you know go check out the game which is cool um but you know i just i'm not you know i'm not so sure um i i would be really curious to know how long this game is because it'd be really you know it'd be interesting to see that when you call it an rpg call something an rpg you know you um <laughs> you're basically saying it's long i haven't played too many short rpgs in my life so um yeah it'd be really interesting to see for an xbox live arcade rpg to see how long this game ran i'd be surprised if it ran more than um you know eight eight hours i'd be really surprised but um you know who knows xbox is it seems like they've been putting out um trying to put out some bigger uh xbox live arcade games like kind of like really um uh, I don't know if you want to say like well-funded uh games it seems like maybe they're trying to revamp their image you know because they had that uh all that fuss over the you know the whole indie developer thing which they actually reversed by the way but um you know maybe that's what they're trying to promote like their smaller games they're saying we support their small we, we support small games and we produce quality small games these aren't indies technically but they are arcade and they are usually made by smaller studios but um yeah, I don't know. I thought so. I think it's interesting, but um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna end the commentary here. So um, let's see. We got you know we got a couple minutes left. Um, yeah, I'll just let you guys uh ride out to the rest of this, the rest of this uh, gameplay, and I'll I'll tell you I'll give you a little exit at the end, but I'll see you near the end. I'm gonna volunteer. I'd better go with you to the recruitment office. It'll also give me a chance to sign up for a special detail. All right.
I'll ask to be assigned to the power plant. Just get them to believe that you've already done that kind of work. It'll fly. Come on, let's go. Alright guys, this has been Mars uh, Warlog Demo, so that's it. Thanks for watching, leave me a like, and subscribe today.